Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Twins. What do you know about this? So this is a continuation on our Arnold series. Yeah. I um, feel like it's been going on for months. We've just been watching so many incredible Arnold movies. Last we watched Commando. Yeah, that was excellent. Uh, which was a ton of fun. So I'm excited. This is going to be a comedy and I believe it's Arnold and Danny DeVito. Yeah, and I, I think Arnold is great at comedy. He's yeah. funny when he wants to be funny, and even when he doesn't want to be funny, sometimes he's that's when he's the most funny. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to a, just a pure comedy with Arnold. Mm -hmm. And I also love Danny DeVito. I mean, yeah. one of my favorite TV shows is It's Always Sunny, and, and he's excellent in that. So I'm really excited. No, so am I. I think Danny DeVito's excellent. He has a great range as an actor as well but i'm really excited to kind of see him in a full comedy role yeah and just from the title of the movie my assumption is that maybe they're twins or playing twins oh, right. or something which is hilarious <laughs> just just the differences yeah. in human bodies yeah but yeah i don't know if they're actually twins or if they're just pretending to be twins yeah i'm sure we'll find out very quickly yeah the arnold train that we're on it's great you know there, there's so many more movies left still to watch mm -hmm. and we've we've chipped away at a lot of them and they've all been excellent so it's great that you know there's still so much more to look forward to mm -hmm. and we're really enjoying reading the comments for recommendations on what we should watch next um so it seems like there's at least a handful more of really good ones and also a lot of people suggesting other actors to follow along on their kind of film journey as well so right. we have a lot of movies to watch <laughs> yeah really looking forward to it yeah so if you would like to watch the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description and you can interact with us on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. All of those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. I decided to tell Julius Benedict the truth about himself, the product of a scientific experiment designed to produce advanced human beings. Is Julius Arnold or Danny DeVito? <laughs> He had not one, but six fathers, Mary Ann Benedict, who was selected to be his mother. Is that a young Heather Graham? Yeah, I guess. It really it does look exactly like her. Yeah. His mother died while giving birth to him. Oh. His mother gave birth to another baby boy. Those are some giant newborns. <laughs> I like it. Arnold's way bigger than Danny DeVito. <laughs> So they are real twins. Genetically created. Right. <gasps> he seemed to enjoy seeing his brother in pain. <laughs> I have a brother. You were sent to an orphanage in Los Angeles. At the same time, I brought you here to the island. He wasn't equipped to deal with the outside world. All of his knowledge was from books. Giant weights. Julius could speak 12 languages. Dang. Brains and brawn. <laughs> He's probably just like me. The nearest island with an airport was 27 miles away. <laughs> but Julius did not care. <laughs> it's like a speedboat. His brother Vincent desperately needed his help. Honey, I'm home. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Seems to be doing just fine. Right. Oh, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Goodbye. Vince! I thought you broke up with him. I did. I... You don't You're a ladies man. Your sister for a second, do you? Don't give them any money. <laughs> don't look at me like it. Don't, don't do that. I only have eyes for you. <laughs> Hi. Where's the little shit? Um, <laughs> oh, Vincent? <laughs> Take out the papers and the trash. <laughs> if you don't scrap that kitchen floor. You were trouble the second I laid eyes on you. I just have never heard this kind of music before. <laughs> okay. Papers and pencils. So Jeez. Dang, some Converse and shorts. <laughs> just constantly eating. <laughs> I did not expect like a movie where everything is like brand new to him, you know? 
Oh, oh man. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's so good. Got a nice BMW up on four, stall 20. Oh. All right, be you. All right. All right, thanks, Tony. <laughs> All right. Wow. There's only 4,000 here. I mean, usually... Tom... We're in a recession, Vince. Everything's tough. It's not that much for that, for that car. Yeah. I mean, it's not his, so... <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing country. <laughs> now, do women really wear these things? Ooh, you bet. If you're lucky, they do. As a matter of fact, that comes from the... Oh, no. no bitch. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> the pavement was his enemy. I carry him to a hospital. No. <laughs> oh, I don't think you should just. I feel yeah. terrible. Oh, me too. Thanks a lot. Sorry. <laughs> just so ultra strong. Your vehicle's in a handicap zone. If you didn't notice. So do I look normal to you? <laughs> You've got over two hundred outstanding. Jeez. Tickets, He's not doing so hot. No. Arnold was right. And that's where he must have slept. Yes. It was. Oh, it's the one I would have chosen. Could have given the alarm and saved all the other orphans. <laughs> We've had only one fire here at St. Charlotte's. Vince Benedict started it. We like to think by accident. <laughs> he looks so happy. Sister Maria, his biology teacher. Oh, I always liked biology. So did Vincent. <laughs> he disgraced Sister Maria. A man of his character can only be in jail. I pray you'd never find him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Benedict! Visitor. Oh, he's like, that must be him. <laughs> it's like, there must be a mistake. You got him. <laughs> I have rode halfway across the world. But believe me, I've been looking for oh, this no. woman my whole life. I have looked for this you gotta talk into the phone, bozo. Oh. <laughs> I'm your brother, Julius. Huh? Come again? And I'm your twin brother. Oh, obviously. <laughs> the moment I sat down, I thought I was looking into a mirror. And you must let me help you get out of here. You wanna help me get out? <laughs> Change his tune real quick. Well, money talks and bullshit walks. How can bullshit walk? <laughs> That's slang, huh? Okay, I'll be anything you want. Your aunt, your uncle. <laughs> I pay right now. Pay oh, okay, nice. Man. Just such a gentle giant. No. <laughs> He's gonna get taken advantage of for sure. I love you. Whoa. <laughs> Course of my cookies in a minute, all right? <laughs> That's more slang. <laughs> How'd you know this is my car? We're twins. <laughs> oh my god. You're so full of energy. I feel so bad for him. Where are you guys going out to Hawaii? Catch some of them big waves? Hmm. Is that like a bomb tape? I have to assume they're there to track down Julius. Oh, you think? I thought maybe they were going to set up Danny DeVito's character to steal another. Ooh. That's much better. Sports agent, hotel yeah, patio on. furniture. This sports agent and patio version. <laughs> Take a couple of days off, and then when we regroup, I'll give you a call. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a call, okay? Oh, this guy's such a jerk. Oh. You hit me because I didn't feel it. Oh. Oh, I'm sure you felt that. <laughs> can be resolved without resorting to violence. <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> you moved too soon. <laughs> Had a first rule in a crisis situation. You negotiate first and you attack last. Vincent's brother. We're twins. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Now they're best friends. <laughs> He's so innocent. Yeah. I love how just like innocent and calm he is. Oh, I don't think I could fight for money. Do all the fighting, I'll keep all the money. <laughs> <laughs> we are twins. 
I can feel your pain. We're not twins. We're not brothers. We're nothing. Jeez. Twenty thousand. They got that twin connection. Come on. Would you uh, would you drive this car back from the airport for me? Do you have a manual, please? <laughs> Learning to drive. <laughs> Whoa. A lot of handicapped children are going to be very disappointed. Oh, my God. Well, maybe we should try to open it ourselves. Do you really think we should do that? It's for children. <laughs> He's no. just too innocent. <laughs> Does that stop a car alarm? I don't know. The mercury switch activates the automatic cutoff system. That the car is being towed away and shuts off. Wow, he must have read that. <laughs> you know the keys to your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a one foot. One pedal at a time. Okay, I'm going to do it. Ah, he got the hang of yeah. it. Yeah. This is Vincent's car. Can I help you, please? <laughs> Brake panel. Very gently. You got it. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be gently. No. <laughs> no way, and landed in a spot. You see me with the two wheels? <laughs> you know, I can teach you that, Vincent. Vince is a truly romantic soul. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me just pick up my Playboy. Where have you been, a desert island? As a matter of fact, they come from a tropical island. Your brother? <laughs> Linda! Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. I didn't know you had a brother. Me either. Hello, <laughs> <About> sisters? <laughs> sisters? Twins? Catch you later. <laughs> I've only been driving an hour. <laughs> Women love men who are mysterious and devious. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I have the highest respect for women. <laughs> You're a virgin. That's private. <laughs> 230 pound virgin. <laughs> oh, Julius, my little baby. You named his cat Julius? Yeah. You named your cat Julius. He didn't even realize. <laughs> I love all the similarities. Yeah. But stomach, here it comes. <laughs> Contributed to the sperm milkshake. <laughs> According to our files, his mother did not die. She abandoned me. She dumped me once. There is no way I'm going to give her a chance to do it again. If they've lied to us about Mama for all these years, maybe they lied to her too. You better have our money tomorrow morning, or else. But they definitely mean business. But I got no car. The car was there. The merchandise was in the trunk. Your instructions were on the cassette. It has nothing to do with them at all. The parking attendant thought we were going to Hawaii. Oh! Oh, oh please, please! <laughs> That took a serious turn. Yeah. Now they're all mixed up in this. Marianne Benedict. She was my mother. Dad looks just like you, Grandpa. <laughs> That's one of his dads. <laughs> Dad? Uh, Dad! Uh, Dad! <laughs> Where did Dad? One of my fathers. You, you don't even know what this means to me. <laughs> Man, I wonder what's in the trunk. And on the tape. They they look like they were like NASA or like some sort of space company or something. Your Houston phone seven one three five 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 zero three four. Uh, uh, Beat Root McKinley. He will arrange to trade you a briefcase for the merchandise in the trunk. Wonder if he's gonna do it for the money. I think so. Your mother was a, an amazing woman. They told her you had died at birth. Who told her we died? He uh, still runs a genetics lab at Los Alamos, New Mexico. He's kind of a dickhead, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. Beat Ruth McKinley talking. Who is this? The merchandise that you, uh, that you might want. It's the, the amount of enrichment that I wanted to talk about. 20 for my cut. 20? Probably like 20 million. If you can do better than $5 million. <laughs> I'll just have to find 
find it in my heart to live with your offer. Five million dollars. There's some basketball skills. You just realized I have a patio furniture. Five. <laughs> Is he bothered to look in the trunk yet? Nah, what? seriously. Oh. Listen, you don't have to see this man in New Mexico. Yes, we do. And I'm coming with you. We'll go see the man. I get my bags and oh. I'll be right out. How many times is he gonna screw him over? Oh. oh. Happy birthday, oh, bitch. God. Better late than never. <laughs> what an awesome cake. Well, he's inside taking a shower. Oh, I'll go give these to him. <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't talk back. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Cookies? I'm really looking forward to tossing them. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I didn't even realize she was... <laughs> it took me a little while. What is it? I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's worth a fortune. Never loan him money and never believe a word he tells you. <laughs> Jay. I cleaned the pipes once. Yeah, let's go. Have a cup of coffee. You're I not am, coming. You with could me. get killed and die, and I wouldn't even know what happened to you. <laughs> Are they gonna road trip? <laughs> yeah, big old road trip. It's a good thing you didn't have to borrow his pants. <laughs> Hopped in a car and spent a few days on the road together. Nice shirt. <laughs> What's in his briefcase? I know, right? Buy just a ton of money. That's what I was thinking. Just carrying around wads of cash. Yeah, just like millions of dollars. Sorry, oh. it's the first day on the job. Where's the other guy? Vince Benedict. Touches Julius. The cute oh, the trash. Well, well, well. Thank you very much. You guys all bandaged up. Your brother seemed to have a problem with their feet. Could be contagious. Oh. You want a doctor? Oh. <laughs> Those brothers aren't having much luck. <laughs> all swelled up. You look like you're ready to explode. <laughs> you put this shirt on. There are women and children present. <laughs> what to be bad? What to be bad? I thought he was going to try to find an excuse to not stop. Yeah. All I want him to do is tell us the truth. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you're talking about. He's lying. He's lying. Pissed off. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Everything okay, Dr. Traven? It's okay. I'll take care of it. Well, Vincent, you turned out just like I thought you would. What'd you do, escape from prison? How'd you know my name? I named you. It's real, Vincent. This is from the beginning. Yeah. That's where we were born. We weren't expecting him. <laughs> this uh, must be we made the milkshake. All the purity and strength went into Julius. Crap that was left over went into what you see in the mirror every morning. Oh, damn. And the leftover crap that I'm no good? He's wrong. Oh, my God. Dickhead. Tell us where our mother is. Whispering Pines. If you're lying to me, I'll be back. <laughs> oh my God. Does he say that in every movie? <laughs> Poor Vincent. That was rough. That was almost like worse than not knowing. Yeah. I'm genetic garbage. It's so much the same. How come we're so goddamn different? The different parts of a lot of different people. I was loved. I was protected, educated, but to love you, to trust you, to encourage you, that the only person you could count on was yourself. You're the missing part of my life, and, and I'm the missing part of your life. We can be a, a family. Oh, So sweet. He really did get shafted. It's not his fault. No. Do I look like I need help? Here's the problem right here. We've got to do a whole ensemble. <laughs> No way. <laughs> you look okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do I look cool now? Everybody's staring. At yeah. me. It's gonna come you're to You're making me nervous. <laughs> well, you're nervous. Help me. You're gonna dance with. <laughs> Put your feet by my feet. Come on. <laughs> Put them on his feet. By my feet, not on my feet. <laughs> 
not ease up? <laughs> See, come on, that's every life. I'm just nervous. Right. Okay, one, one two, three, one. <laughs> don't, don't, one doing with your two, teeth three. there, Jason? <laughs> it's like he's the Terminator. He likes your draw. He's a natural. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> just fits in right so perfectly. It's all theory, no practice. <laughs> uh, story of my life. Well, we're gonna change all that, aren't we, Marnie? <laughs> I have my shit face here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you're nervous because it's your first time. Perfectly natural. I was 12 years old and she was a nun. <laughs> <laughs> hit him, hit him, hit him. Ah. <laughs> My life has been just getting better and better. Mine too. Yeah! <laughs> Love you! <laughs> hey, he's my brother. <laughs> it's like, sure. Oh, the oh. brothers. Plain boys. What an unpleasant surprise. Oh, oh no. Huh? Hey, you moved too soon. What? The second rule in a crisis situation. Uh-oh. Must be prepared to have your bluff called. That's the same guy from The Running Man. Oh. Hey, yeah, Vincent. Oh, hey. Oh, I love when you hit people. <laughs> Dance the waltz. He's like, I'm leaving you. <laughs> right. I tell you, life just doesn't get better than this. Oh yes, it does. Oh, Vincent, you locked yourself out. I, right. Marnie. Hi. You mean you're gonna sleep here tonight? Uh huh. Good night. You can do this, buddy. Julius. Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh no. What? This bed is lumpy. You mind if I share the floor with you? <laughs> Teasing me, aren't you? A little. What does it do now? Uh, well, you know, Mom haven't seen me in all these years. <laughs> Your mom's gonna love you, whatever you look like. I don't know what else a mom could want in a son. You're right. Why am I worried? What am I worried about? She's so sweet. Yeah. Uh, do I look like someone who could play house? I'm moody at night. I'm, like, miserable. I know what you're like. Tomorrow, I'm taking my best girl to meet my mom. I'm so excited. Yes, I only have eyes. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> you like that song? <laughs> this looks like the Universal Backlot. Oh, it does. Like where they flood it. It's nice, mom's loaded. That's a worry she won't have to have in her old age. You have to write a letter to the Benedict Foundation stating your business. Foundation? Millions, Julius. We sneak in. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's pretty impressive in those heels. Yeah. I hope the mom's okay. Me too. Don't you think this is Mama? Well, we are looking for Miss Marion Benedict, please. Yeah. Is she here? Yeah, she's here. She's our mother, is the thing. We are her sons. Twin sons. Is her? I You're comedians. So. No, no. We're kind of a surprise. I'll bet you are. Follow me. Why do you keep referring to her in a past tense? She passed away some time ago. Her spirit is always here. Oh, walking him out. Hmm. Can we get the hell out of here, please? Damn real estate developers. <sighs> Shameless, they'll try anything. It is her. Yeah. I did have a child once, but he died at birth. Dang it. A deal of a lifetime opportunity, and I'm out looking for a dead mother. He's got something in the trunk that's worth millions, and I'm worried that he's gonna get himself killed. She's so nice. Yeah, I know. Looks like I'm gonna be doing business with him. You just want the merchandise. It's not your problem who delivers it. <laughs> They're too connected. So 
some fool who stole a car, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. You don't even know what the hell this thing is, do you? Revolutionary fuel injection system. A jet. Five million bucks? You want to count it? No, you do. <laughs> Look at it. Oh man, he took them out. Come on, Vincent, you're smarter than you know. <laughs> Leave my brother alone. Oh, oh come on, Vincent, go yeah. back. You idiot. Don't be nervous. Here's the money. You're a goddamn millionaire. You, I am never gonna forgive. <laughs> never. Cracked him so you could escape. I already had escaped. Close it. Open it, close it, open it, close it. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm not only a goddamn psychic, I got this. No one ever said being good was easy. What, are you gonna kill us even though we gave you the money? You got it. You forgot the third rule in a crisis situation. Third rule. Oh, the third rule. It's <laughs> oh. <laughs> <This> a lot. <laughs> How much chain is this? <laughs> Yo, holy schmoly. Now there's a man with a lot on his mind. <laughs> We're family. That's right. We're going to return this money. No, we don't have to give it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, he doesn't have a door still. <laughs> Line, son of a bitch! Ah! Linda, I'm sorry. I made a terrible mistake and I apologize. Oh. Sid? <laughs> yes, this is the Benedict Corporation. Clark, yes? I'll put you down. What do we have left out of the $50,000 reward? You have exactly $12,278. Oh, you're just upset because I made you return that suitcase. Oh, the money. You mean the $4 million? <laughs> $4 million. Oh, good Five job, million. Vincent. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know which one is which. I didn't know. They lied to me all these years. They lied to you, too. Mama? <laughs> mama. Mama! Oh, mama. <laughs> mama. I just can't get over how alike they are. <gasps> no way. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, that was twins. What'd you think? That was awesome. Yeah. It was so wholesome. It was cute. It was obviously super funny. It was still a really good story. Oh, like, yeah. It wasn't just like kind of stupid humor. Like there was a great storyline. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, I really thought that it was just going to be a really funny comedy. Mm -hmm. Just purely continuing like to play off the fact that Danny DeVito and Arnold are nothing alike <laughs> but there was so much more that i wasn't really expecting like you said like the story was really interesting and engaging my favorite thing about the whole movie was the aspect that arnold was just like an innocent clueless person mm -hmm. like visiting america for the first time mm -hmm. so just to experience like all of these new things because I, I feel like that's so funny to me to see arnold who's this like gigantic man who just like is like oh driving a car like that montage of him just eating all of this food yeah like, it was just something completely unexpected and that was my favorite part of the movie yeah there was so much innocence um with linda like she was just such a kind yeah. person because vincent danny devito's character really in the beginning he didn't deserve any of it no he was definitely i mean purposefully a character that was super unenjoyable Sleazy. yeah yeah i mean he's he was a criminal right and then he also just didn't treat the people around him kindly no he was a player yeah. and and he was treating arnold or julius like garbage practically yeah. just yeah. taking advantage of him over and over again but then they got to come around and be a family and then an extended family each having twins of their own right yeah they clearly get with the sisters and now they have twins at the same time and the mom is there and the, the scientists so like arnold's like 
father figure, I yeah. guess, was there too. Mm -hmm. So it was just one big, giant, happy family ending, yeah. which was just, just, just great. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, but it was kind of like a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions a little bit, you know, with just the mom story. And then obviously there was a bit of action. I just, can't yeah, imagine an Arnold enough. movie without a little bit of action. A little bit of action, some good one-liners and saying that I'll be back live. Yeah. <laughs> That's always enjoyable yeah. to get that little, little taste of it. Yeah. Kind of like what you said, like the, the roller coaster, it did like hit the heart pretty good. Like, I mean, it was a, just a fun movie, a good comedy. But um, even though Vincent wasn't really like a likable character in the beginning, I felt like he, his storyline was the heart of the whole movie mm -hmm. because Arnold or, or Julius didn't have a rough life. He grew up in a tropical paradise and he looks the way that he looks and he's incredibly intelligent and all this stuff. So a lot of the unfortunate events really came through Vincent, mm -hmm. yeah. which it explains why he is the way that he is and, and Arnold had that good like speech to him like you had to grow up thinking that it's just you like you just had to fend for yourself like you know you you felt abandoned not wanted no family all of this that he had to experience so clearly he had this really rough exterior shell that you know over time was worn away by by Arnold's character mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it definitely has to do with the circumstances of just both of their lives and how they grew up. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, seeing Danny DeVito's character, Vincent, he just had such a huge character arc yeah. throughout. And then, you know, the Linda and uh, Kelly Preston's character, they stuck around for all of it. Yeah, they're troopers. Yeah. You kind of touched on the point of how like innocent and sweet and like kind of like loving Linda was to Vincent's character, even when he didn't deserve it. She kind of saw who he really was underneath. Yeah. And then, and then Marnie was just clearly infatuated with Arnold. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, she was a great character too. Yeah. And she, she supported her sister. Yeah. Even though she was clearly not a fan of Vincent, but obviously things came around. Yeah. She wasn't like just totally throwing everything out the window. Or yeah. Anything. She just kind of was like, come on Linda like, <laughs> like, you could do better yeah what's happening here but it ended up working out and you know she was able to meet Julius but speaking of Kelly Preston I mean she's beautiful fantastic actress it was cool to see her in this I don't I can't really remember a lot of things that I've seen her in obviously I know Kelly Preston right but this was cool to see her so young and everything in this so from start to finish it was just a super enjoyable movie mm -hmm. which i mean it's just the same thing we say the same thing on repeat for every arnold we watch every single time we watch it's just fun and fantastic mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. knows how to pick them yeah and this is no different and i feel like this is again you know the kind of it's not like he was a robot but kind of like the cluelessness of the world around him mm -hmm. i feel like helps arnold give a better performance because mm -hmm. he doesn't need to be so perfect or anything like mm -hmm. he can have little mistakes here and there and it plays into the character right i think danny devito and arnold i think they're in another movie together too yeah they were fantastic together their chemistry was great danny devito's always incredible um super funny yeah he can uh he can do some really good performances mm -hmm. he can really make you feel for his character mm -hmm. which he did a fantastic job in a comedy movie mm -hmm. um so yeah their, their chemistry together was, was spectacular but i'm glad that it ended up with all four of them traveling together yeah just a lot of fun also we were talking about some big names in the movie uh you had mentioned heather graham in the beginning we were unsure we just checked and it was heather graham yeah that's got to be one of her Early, she looked super young there. I mean, she still looked exactly like Heather Graham, but no speaking roles or anything. I, yeah. I assume maybe that was one of her first gigs. I feel like she just like doesn't age. No, she she's like an iconic image, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was cool. And then uh, David Caruso was in it. I yeah, where was on, he? He's the parking attendant. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. It didn't it didn't really look like him, but it kind of looked like him. So I wanted to check that too cuz in Manhunter that I like love CSI and all of those things and he's like the star of CSI Miami. Yeah. Yeah. And so. then uh I saw uh for a brief second uh he came up to grab Arnold in the bar scene mm. and it was the security guard from 
uh, the running man or something. The, the guard. Oh, I heard you say that, but then it was like chaotic. It was very quick. Like he yeah. was only there for sp- which he was also from the comment section. People said that he was in Conan as well. Oh. He was one of the guys in Conan. All right. So I think I think Arnold has a reputation of having some of his friends or some of his like uh, bodybuilder friends mm-hmm. have roles in the movies. Yeah, a so, lot of crossover. So there was definitely a couple of people that, that popped up in this movie that was like, oh, hey, oh, yeah. hey. But yeah, no, to just wrap it all up, a perfect movie. Yeah, it was fantastic. To, yeah, a perfect movie to just play to all of Arnold's strengths. Mm-hmm. So super excited to keep checking out even more. You know, it seems like we've done a lot, but I think we still have a lot left, which is great. Yeah. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. And if you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye.